Good day everyone, I am Paul Antonio Arawakay together with Jairo Andu Luis and Mark Jan S. Ritubis. We are group 9 from BIS HM2B and today we are going to discuss women and violence. Cuba was only placed in the agenda at the beginning of the 1980s. Why is this so? Violence against women is one of the most taboo topics in feminism and has a long history of contention. There are two reasons for this disagreement. First, some people assume that gender-specific violence does not exist. Second, those who witness and recognize violence against women view it as a normal and unavoidable gender-specific violence is just a part of how the world is and there is nothing one can do to change it. Objectives Identify the various forms of violence against women. Explain how even subtle forms of violence affect women. Able to know what are the ways how to end violence against women. Our topic outline Types of violence, types of rape, cultural practices and sexual violence, sexual harassment, street harassment, pornography, prostitution, sex slavery, sex trafficking, spiritual violence, reproductive or medical abuse, abuse of women in intimate relationship, domestic violence, and ways to help to end violence against women. So here are the types of violence against women, physical violence, psychological violence, economic abuse or violence, and sexual violence. These are the common violence that we experience with some women. Rape. Rape is more than an issue of sex and class. It's an issue of power when rape comes the removal of free will and power of the victim, attacking the dignity of the person. Types of rape. Unsuccessful rape is called attempted rape. If more than one person commits rape on any one person, it is called young rape. Marital rape includes acts that are covered by rape. Although it occurs between a married couple, while this form of violence is recognized by the law, anti-rape law of 1997, there are cultural barriers to its full implementation. Cultural practices and sexual violence. Some cultural practices may be considered as a form of sexual violence. Forcing children to become child rights is a cultural practice that can be classified as sexual violence. Sexual harassment is a specific form of sexual violence that occurs outside one's home. The sexual act may not necessarily be forced or take physical form. Manipulation, intimidation, and blackmail can be used to force someone into having sex or performing sexual acts. Street harassment is sexual harassment that occurs in a public space. A prior relationship between the asylum and the victim is not required. Pornography, prostitution, sex slavery, sex trafficking, whether it's because of poverty and abuse or by choice, they used to experience this as a means of income, or they are the people forced into the sex industry against their will through force, fraud, or coercion. Spiritual violence. Spiritual force is a form of violence against women that uses religious or spirituality to discredit, harms, or dispowerment them. Reproductive or medical abuse. Women may be forced to get pregnant, use to conservative, or undergo obstruction. Another form of violence is holding of information about safe pregnancy, constructive and childbirth abuse woman of intimate relationship. The abuse of women in intimate relationship, however, is a sense of a major health and issue effective of woman physical and emotional need. It also causes physical, physical harm, domestic violence. Domestic violence occurs within home where in an unequal power relationship between the victim and the perpetrator exists. So good day everyone, my name is Martin Esitubis and I'm going to discuss the five ways to help to end violence against women. So number one, listen to invalid survivors. When a woman shares her story of violence, she takes the first step of breaking the cycle of abuse. It is on all of us to give her the safe space she needs to speak up and be heard. Number two, teach the next generation and learn from them. The example we set for the younger generation shape the way they think about gender, respect, and human rights. Start conversation about gender roles early on and challenge the traditional features and characteristics assigned to men and women. Number three, call for responses and service fits for purpose. This means that shelter, helplines, counseling, and all support for survivors of gender-based violence need to be able for those in need. Number four, learn the sign of abuse and how you can help. If you are concerned about a friend who may be experiencing violence or feel unsafe around someone, review this sign and learn about the way to help them. Find safe safety and support. Number five, stands against rape culture. Rape culture is the social environment that allows sexual violence to be normalized and justified, fueled by the persistent gender inequalities and attitudes about gender and sexuality. Naming it is the first step to dismantling rape culture. 